The live video today is a continuation from yesterday's um, topic because um, yesterday I've been discussing about um, yesterday I've been discussing about um, the market um, segment lead, yeah, the the funnel or sales funnel, C to C, how you can how you make money online, the process that you go through. Yeah, so I started the topic yesterday um, about this market um, funnel and why is it so important for online marketing. That's what I started with, with yesterday. So if you want to follow up, you can also watch yesterday replay and then you will get more information from, from it. But even from today's on, it's very easier to understand. Yeah. So the thing is, I just want to ask you a quick question. Have you ever heard um, the phrase that says, you know, talking to everyone is talking to no one? Have you ever heard a phrase? A lot of time, especially marketers online, they use this phrase a lot. Talking to everyone, is me it means talking to no one, yeah? So the thing is, first of all, you have to determine um, your target market, the people that you are um, marketing to, yeah? Because when you are building a business online or on the internet, you're going to take a specific, um, you're going to talk to a specific person when you're building your business online. Because it's not everybody you, your product or your services Will be appealing to so you want to have a specific people that you will be directing your marketing to so what kind of customers or what kind of buyer are you looking for and whom are you serving when you're doing your marketing online yeah so today um to determine your um, target market i'm gonna share with you step by step how you can do it, how you can um, find out or identify the people that you will be um, marketing to, yeah? So the very first thing you want to ask yourself, who is it that you are talking to? Who is it that you are marketing to when you are doing it online? Then um, you also want to know, um, thank you, Cheryl, you're welcome. How are you this evening, Cheryl? So um, when you get into network marketing, you have to ask yourself, um, sometimes we think that, you know, uh, that everybody is our customers when we get in, especially when we are into network marketing. Mm? Even though maybe everybody may want, may need your product, but it is it's not everybody that wants your product, mm? which is, something that we have to understand that everybody may need your product but it is not everybody that will want your product yeah and because sometimes we think that we think it's the other way around that everybody who want, needs our product wants our product and which is not true yeah so the thing is everybody may need our product but they will not want our product yeah so there is a big difference there so you have to figure out who is it that you are talking to, who is it that you are marketing to, who, who are the people that you are directing your market, your product or your services to. Mm -hmm. So you have to look for that, for those particular people or person that you are looking for. Yeah. So you are looking for someone that is actually raising their hands and saying to you, I'm looking for you. Mm -hmm. It's not like literally raising their hands, but by the research they are doing on the internet and things, it can be the product or the services that you have to offer. So in that sense, it's like they are raising their hands and saying, I'm looking for you. Yeah. So um, the thing is, you are not trying to convince, you know, somebody or people that they actually need your product. Even though you can, you can see, you will be able to see that certain particular set of people or maybe a person needs your product. 
But if they think they don't want your product, then you cannot, we cannot force it to them, yeah? But there is a way that you can do, a step you can go through to identify those people that will make them to even come to you, that you will not even be pitching your products here and there, yeah? So here are some questions that um, you should ask yourself to identify your target market or maybe your segment market. Hmm? So first of all, you want to ask their age. What is their age? Hmm? The people that you are marketing to. Are they women or is it men? Hmm? Are they married or are they single? Um, do they have kids? What is the level of their education, their profession? What kind of profession do they, do they have? What do they do for work? Hmm? What is their income level? The reason why this income level is very, very important it is because, um, you know, here is the thing. If you, are in a, if you are in a profession, you know, maybe like um, if you have a business or you are in a network marketing company or maybe you have a high ticket opportunity then the income level is going to be very very important in this case why because you want to make sure that your prospects or you know the peop the people or the person that you are directing your marketing to your product to um, they have um, a disposable income that they they can actually make the investment in your business that you are um, that you are part of yeah so that's why the income level is very very important so it depends what kind of business you're doing it's very important to think about that yeah that you want to focus on someone that have the income to invest in your business and you also want to ask yourself what kind of maybe a um, car they are driving this can also have an impact in the market segments in the people that you want to direct your products or services to mm? do they work out like do they train go to train in the gym um, where do they travel to are they people like like love traveling now often do they travel what do they watch on TV? Hmm? How much free time do they have? You know, if they don't have any free time, that will become a problem for them because most people want free time to do other stuff. So free time is very, very also important for you also to take into consideration when thinking of your market segment or your market target. Yeah. So what are their problems? What keeps them um, up at night? What will they pay to have anything solved? Which of their problems can you solve? Now you get all those things you are thinking about. So you want to find out which of their problem can you solve? Which of these problems? Yeah. So what does your product do? So you also have to take that into consideration. What their pro what your product do? Yeah. And then uh, uh, you have to know that, you know, when you are actually marketing your, your solution, your product is a solution to their problem. Yeah. So it is very important for you to know what your product do, because then it's the solution for them. Mm? So what do they search for on Google? When they go on Google, on the Internet, what do they search for? You also have to have that into a, at the back of your mind. What do they do for fun? Mm? And then um, you also want to know about your prospect or the market, the people that you are looking for to market your product or your services to. Yeah, you want to know these people. Thank you, Marcy. Welcome. How are you this evening? I hope you had a lovely day. Yeah. So these are the questions you must ask yourself when you are marketing um, on, on the internet, when you are marketing online, because it's very important to know these questions. Then it will be easier for you to focus on these particular people. So when you put your product, you know exactly what it will be about. Yeah. So this question will help you to identify 
your target market or your segment market yeah so this is the recipe for oh i'm fine i'm fine mercy thank you yeah so this is the recipe for um of a of a successful business online yeah so now um we are going to create um good evening auntie Matt. how are you this evening welcome good evening ug as well you're very welcome this evening and sheriff as well you're very very welcome this evening you also want to um now we are going to like create after you've asked yourself all these questions now you are going to create an avatar example yeah for 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 you like the avatar example is the the people you are targeting to the people you are marketing to yeah so we are going to give an example so let me say um the one i created i says my avatar or the market segment or your market target you can call it different different things yeah is a lady the one i've created i'm giving you example she's 35 years old she works for microsoft she makes um dollars per year she needs to lose 25 pounds um for her wedding she's going thank you auntie matt you're welcome how is the family doing yeah so she's going to get married she's going to have a wedding and she's this type of person that she craves for sugar and fats yeah she loves fatty foods yeah she hates the gym a lot she don't like going to the gym even though she wants to lose weight yeah and she has no kids she don't have any kids mm? so this is the the person now i'm targeting my market to yeah Thank you, Auntie Matt. Yeah. So, what does she want? This person that I've just described, what does she want? Well, she wants to lose weight, as we know. She's going to have a wedding. That's why she wants to lose weight. She wants to work out, but she don't want to work. Thank you, Auntie Matt. <laughs> she wants to. Um, she wants to work out, but she don't like to go to the gym she wants to do it at home at her own convenience and she doesn't like the gym that's why here yeah? so she wants more energy because she don't have that much energy so she also wants more energy and she wants to reduce a sugar craving because as we know she's this type of person that crave for sugar yeah and because uh, she reduce because we know that when she reduces a sugar craving probably she will reduce her weight she's thinking yeah so she wants to have children and she wants to um, be able to run around with those children because she need energy that's why she wants to lose this extra 25 pounds yeah she wants to travel more she wants to take this opportunity and travel more so now you have, you have an idea who your target market is. Hmm? Who are you talking to? The person you are talking to. Now you've described this person. Hmm? It cannot be only a single person, but like this type of people you are looking for. Hmm? So your target market can change over time. The thing is, it can change over time. But to start with, you have to be specific with that with them, yeah? And as you are go growing your business, your, your target market changes throughout the time. You begin to see other problems, other seg segments, um, market target they are having. You describe them, you create a product for them at the same time, yeah? And then that's how you, you, you are adding to your target market. So now I'm going to create a lead magnet for your avatar for this um, target market yeah so when you are creating a, a, a lead magnet you want to specifically talk to these people you want to draw their at attention maybe you can for example say 
um, are you struggling in losing weight? How will it feel to lose 10 um, pounds, 15 pounds or 25 pounds of extra fat? How will you feel to travel a lot? So when you are putting your product there, you, al you already want to make sure that your product have the solution to this problem. It's not all of the problems that you're going to solve because we know this person crave for sugar, they want, she wants to lose weight, she wants to travel more. It's not all of these things you're going to immediately solve. But you have to focus on a specific problem that you know it's pressing because we all know for example with weight loss most of us are struggling with it so maybe you will want to focus on that because when she once she, when she's going to um, get married she wants to look very very smart she wants to look very okay and feel confident about herself so maybe that is something you will want to focus on that if that is um, if you are into weight loss um, company. Yeah. So it depends which company. It can be maybe you are into um, um, you are a car dealer. Or maybe it can be your ear dresser or you are into beauty and cosmetics. So it depends what you are into. For example, if it's, a, if it's parents, a mother who want to look good, she wants to have makeup on and things but maybe she don't have the time because of the children and she's working then definitely you want to you want to find out a problem and find out what your own products do what does it solve then in that way you can be able to direct your your focus to these people so instead of talking to a lot of people that you will not get any feedback from them. So when you talk to a particular person, to a particular set of people, this will help your product and your business to grow very, very fast. Yeah. So they know that when they need this product, they know exactly where to come. They know exactly where to find you. So that's why it's very important that you find out and create your target market. In this way, when you follow the steps, then definitely you will not um, you will not lose. Um, good evening, Elena. How are you this evening? You're welcome. How is your mom doing? Thank you. Yeah. So when you follow the steps of um, identifying the people that you are talking to, it becomes very very easy for you to know exactly what um, which content which information you will be putting out there because then you will not be this random things but you will know exactly your focus yeah it can be that maybe you don't only have one particular segment but for every product you put out there you know exactly whom you are talking to yeah so you can have three four you can have as many market um, segments or market targets as possible but all of this wants has to be specific and your product has to be specific when talking to them. Yeah. So in that way, it helps your business to grow very, very fast. Yeah. So if you, um, tomorrow I'm going to continue with this to show you exactly how you can um, build your product or which type of product you can bring out to your target market yeah so if you want any idea of how to go about this you please give me a call or you um contact me from my facebook um uh, from if you go to my facebook personal page my profile you will see my information there or on my facebook um, business page my information is also there you can send me email or you can contact me through messenger as well then i will definitely get back to you very very fast and help you and see where you need help or how you want to go um, where you stop or how we can start from the beginning so that you can get your market going very very quick it's very very important to know these things especially when you are marketing online it's very important to focus on a particular set of people yeah your target market or your market segment any way you call it yeah you describe them and then 
it will be very easier for you to focus your business and to grow your business yeah so this is all i have for you this evening friends i hope you guys you get value from this if you do i would love for you to share with your team members your business partners your company your group as well your friends as well that um, maybe because a lot of people are marketing online but they don't know these things so most of the time they will find themselves struggling for very very long time because they are talking to a lot of people and no one is responding that's why i decide to bring this on um, this topic so that um, once who are struggling with their business once who are struggling to identify their market um, target will understand how to go about it then they will start to see um, progress in their business so friends this is all i have for you today i know it's very short but um i'll continue with the topic tomorrow again and you all have a lovely lovely evening thank you all so much for joining in this evening and also you that will be watching the re um, replay later i want to thank you all so much um, elino auntie matt um marcy eugene sheriff cheryl avin all of you that are joining i want to thank you all so much you all have a lovely evening and i'll see you all again tomorrow with continuation of this topic yeah so you all have a wonderful evening and bye for now